Hello everybody, it's Nelson here. I'm so excited because I created a custom hair color kit just for you. Let's check out what is inside. This amazing hair color kit. The first thing, and also is the most important of course, is the hair color. And this is a custom make hair color just for you. And we air seals it tight. It also come in the peroxide. And it's really simple and it's very easy to use. What you do is you open this up and you pour it in the bowl. This is already pre-measured. And then you pour the whole entire bottle, which is two ounces. And then you put it in the bowl and then you just mix it and then it will be ready to use. Okay, the second item, which is optional, is the color glosser. This is a non-ammonia, semi-permanent naturally drive, 99% naturally drive color glosser. And it refresh the hair color for you and add a lot of shine and moisture into your hair. And this you put on after you mix it, okay, you open this up and you mix it with the, 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 its own developer and you put it on damp, clean, damp hair. So this you do it after you finish with your hair color, wash it out and condition your hair and then you put this on to refresh your hair color. The whole entire kit comes with a tint bowl, a tint brush, a Vaseline to protect your hairline so it doesn't get stained. And then if you, after the, um, your hair color, you can use this makeup remover to take off the stain around the hairline. A pair of gloves and also shampoo and conditioner, which is our favorite. So now I'm going to show you the application. First, before you do anything, you want to put that protecting cream, which I already have it right here on my fingers, and you put it on your hairline. So that way you don't get stain on your scalp and your hair. You put it like literally just a little bit around and if you have glasses on you want to make sure you take them off I'm not going to do it right now because I need to see so every time when you apply hair color when you're getting your the product on your brush it's really important to only get the product at the tip of your brush just like this you don't want to do this to get the product all over your brush because your application won't be clean and then it will affect this end result. So you want to make sure your brush is really clean and you do it like that. So after that, you want to make sure your gloves are on, okay? And you are pretty much ready. Oh, one more thing. So you want to make sure you're wearing something that you don't care, like a dirty t-shirt or Remember, you only get your product on, the brush just like this, just a little bit. You brush, you hold your hair back, and then you start applying just at the root, like where you need it. Normally when you have gray hair, you only need it on the very root of your hair. And you just literally tap it on, just like that. Just like that, okay? And you section it. See how the tail of the brush is like this and you can actually take a very nice section of the hair. And you get only a little product at the tip of the brush and you're going to just apply it like that. And then you take another section just like that and you separate it really nicely and you put it on just like that see it's actually not that difficult again if you master of doing this later on and you can get a job at my salon and one thing I think is really important uh, is I will not recommend you to 
ask someone in, at home, like your husband or your roommates, to do it for you. Before, a long time ago, I will totally suggest to ask for help. And I realize that if they don't do a good job, and it's going to really cause a relationship breakup. If you're ready for a divorce, it's actually a very good time to, <laughs> to do this and ask your husband to do your hair color. Because if there's anything goes wrong with this, then you guys are going to fight. So I t totally strongly recommend you do not, do not ask anyone to do it for you. Just in case. See how you just applied your hair color like so? I have some short hair here, so I'm going to do it like that. Just brush it on, and I'm going to do it on the other side, just the same. And the product, if you're getting a hair color to go kits from us your formula basically is in a computer i want i will make sure that your hair color is the same as what you're getting in the salon see it's really not that difficult Okay, now I finished getting the front of the hair. I need to actually do the back. The back is a lot more difficult and you just kind of need to feel it. So you do the same thing. You use the, the tip of your brush and then section it. Just, and then you just get, and try not to get it on the ends of the hair because if you get it on the end of the hair, it could ruin the color, especially if you have a lot of highlights. It will cover up your highlight. So you just go to the back. And if you have a side mirror in the back of your house, like one of those tall mirror, you can put it and then you can kind of see it through your mirror so you can see the back of your hair. And that is optional. And you know how a lot of people have that split right here? then what you do is you want to make sure you get that. Take your section up. You can just apply the product on. Again, this, this is designed for you to get a touch up so that you will look great in between time and you do not want to expect your hair color is going to look exactly the same as we do it for you in the salon because this is kind of messy and difficult to do i mean even for me as a hairdresser and i'm doing it for myself i only do it when i when it's very very necessary I don't usually do this to myself at all because I know that it cannot be super perfect. Okay, so basically that's it. And you just let it sit for 30 minutes and you go to the shower, you will wash this out, shampoo and condition. If you have um, highlight on your hair, if you're blonde like me, so what you need to do before you go into the shower is put conditioner on the ends first. So the hair color won't affect your highlight because a lot of time when you go to the shower and try to wash this out and the hair color will run it to the highlight area, it could darken up your highlight. So things like that, you have to be careful. Hope this video really helped you to create beautiful salon hair color at home. And I also make another video and it talks about the most common mistake people make when they're doing their hair color at home. So watch that videos as well and that will really help. If you have any question, contact me. I would love to help. And I'll see you next time. Adios. Bye bye.